Hey guys, welcome to Until Dawn, episode Dose. Um, we just met Sam. I mean, we know Sam. She's she's really hating Pantiere, or however you pronounce that. I don't, I don't, I don't freaking know. She's a she's a cheerleader from Heroes, as you may know. Um, she's a nice lady. I like her. I hope she doesn't die. Uh, that'll probably be my decision at some point, and I'm not excited for that. I'm digging the Negan look. Uh, she's considerate, adventurous, diligent, and no longer Hannah's best friend because she's dead. All right, let's get into it. Why? Why is that to be menacing? I, I just got dropped off by a bus. Why do I need to know that? Why? Oh god, can I get out my uh my cell phone flashlight again? God. Can I just turn around and go talk to the pyromancer guy? I don't wanna move the camera. I don't I don't wanna look at any of this. There's just woods. I don't care about the woods. They can be woods. There's a bird, I'm fine with that, I'm fine with all of this. I don't wanna look around. Wait, where? Is there something glinting? Oh, the gate. Sorry, I couldn't see it past this freaking tree. What kind of what kind of crap is that? Put a tree in my way. All right. The gate's busted. Climb over. What does that say, Chris? Chris. Okay. So that that must have meant you were just carrying paper and a pen with you. All right. How is she going to be able to climb this? I guess do it safely. There's no reason to be fast about it. I thought I didn't have to be quick. Keep climbing. Why would I jump for it? Why? Can I kill her here? Is that an option? Just fall backwards, snap her neck. Do I have to climb down too? Is that is that something I gotta do too? There's someone watching me, and it's I I feel like it's not the pyromancer guy, cause he kind of approached really fast to help the girls out. I don't think he's just gonna creep on this girl. That doesn't sound like him. Aw, squirrel. He's so cute. Aw, oh, shit. I was scratching my arm, I'm sorry. Wow, I can't do this. I was just gonna keep doing it until I can do it. I better not have to do this later. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Holding it. Holding it. I'm completely lying to all you guys. I actually just set it down. <laughs> I doubt I'll be able to have that chance later. Are there objectives? Not just walk forward? Head to the. Okay. Okay. The twins, is that the dead girls? There are clues? We don't know how they died? They fell off a cliff. I watched it happen. I was there. I, I made the girl drop her sister. Okay. 1952, for some reason that's important. There's a Mr. Oh, I'm assuming Mystery Man's the Pyromancer. Uh... Uh, totems. I uh, guidance loss the potential loss of a friend the threat of a future danger. <laughs> okay, prob I like these ones. I just want to find these ones. I like that. Okay. Well, I made a squirrel friend and I have the ability to heal, so that wasn't scary. 
I didn't jump at all. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't click on anything to read that. Did, oh, literally everything I just I just looked at. Okay. I could have waited to. All right, read that if you want. I just got that on my brain now. Oh, sweet! One just happens to be here. An ancient artifact just happens to be lying in front of this sign. Can I? Can I pick it up? Oh wow, that was a creepy arm reach. Aw, oh, bird. It was a guidance totem. It told me to look at that bird. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on me. Well, I guess it's not coming true because I just kicked that bird in the ass. Is there a way to turn off these tutorials? Because I, I kind of get it click on things, quick time events and whatnot. The past is beyond our control. Um, yeah. Okay, so it looks like there's the lodge, which I'm assuming is where we're living. Uh, sanatorium, literally all the way at the top of the mountain because of course that's the easiest place to get put a sanatorium. Um, then the cable car, I guess I'm right next to it. I don't know, that, that other thing behind is kind of looks like a tree, but I guess it's an important tree. I suppose I'll find out at some point. Can I go inside? Uh, like the guy who wrote the note. Oh, I guess he's my friend. I didn't even notice Chris was one of my friends before. I guess I climbing inside is an option. Oh, there's a backpack. Not in the bag, are you? So there's a Chris guy's bag. And he didn't take his phone. I want to know who's gone. Ooh, it's Ashley. Wow, you look like a douche. <laughs> Protective, humorous, methodical, and has a crush on Ashley. Ooh, you just got a message from Ashley. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is he mad or just being a sarcastic, funny guy? I can't tell. So I think he was the one kind of stalking me. I think that's kind of how that... Ooh, another poster for me to stare at. Sweet. Victor Milgram, Wanted. Last seen in 1998. I don't, I don't know what year we're in now. Are they ever going to tell me? I'm assuming the year might actually be when the game came out. Um, no idea when that is. <laughs> okay, so... I'm assuming that's just supposed to be scary because some psychopath is on loose. There's a nice little Jake you had there. I'm sorry, what am I looking at? Can... Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Shooting range. Oh, so they do have parents. Are we gonna meet them? All right. Here goes. Oh shit, time's actually going by. Am I supposed to be going fast? 
shit. Oh, I have time to shoot. I'm like, pew. Look, I hit it. I hit the target. Pew. Pew. Wow, my aim is amazing. Pew. Don't dance with a gun. Is this a choice? Oh, the squirrely. Hello. Oh, look at the squirrel. I'm not... Is that an option to shoot the squirrel? Hell no. I made friends with that squirrel. Oh, well, that was a choice. Oh, because it would have pissed her off if I would have shot the squirrel. No, I like the squirrel. Why would I kill it? I want to play as a Hayden Panty again. I don't. I don't want to play as this douche. Look, he didn't read it yet. Look. Ooh, reading. Wow. I don't like that whole zoom into the face thing it does. I don't like that. He's definitely checking out her ass. Can we get inside magically now? Wow, that's weird. I mean, I'd sleep in there. It looks warm. Well, warmer than outside. In the cold. <sighs> Pink backpack for the girl. Blue pack. I thought his backpack was just brown, wasn't it? Oh, I thought I was playing as her for a second. I got excited. Am I, can I come talk to her? Is that what I'm supposed to do? No, I like Ashley, right? I'm supposed to like Ashley, not that girl. But I like Sam. I always liked Hayden Panty Air. She's cool. Oh, we're waiting for the cable car. Gotcha. I can't. There we go. Oh, his family owns the mountain. The video. Where is that bathtub? Wait, was that something I wasn't supposed to see? Because that's the station, like normal. But that was definitely a bathtub at first. Yo, when we get to the lodge, I'm checking out that bathtub, and if it looks the same as that one, I think we know what's going on. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was... I was reading. A poster. Looking at a computer. Looking at a computer. I would not trust this at all. Yeah. This just seems wrong. This seems like trespassing. Like everything's dead. No, Josh is definitely messed up in that. <laughs> you know what, 
That seems like a good idea. Just ignore the possible monster and the pyromancer, of course. Butterfly effect. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? I, I said it before he even said it. I'm amazing. That entire conversation was pointless except to explain to her the butterfly effect that I already understood because it's a very simple concept. <sighs> oh, that's the girl with the creepy face. Mike's new girlfriend because he killed the other girl. She's confident, trusting, and irreverent. Okay. Okay. Hey, Jess. You're talking to yourself. New people, time to meet. Oh, were you not the girl with the creepy face that we met before? Oh, okay. Oh, she is a girl with a really weird face. So we do know her, and she pushes buttons really weird. He's such a douchebag. Okay, yeah, tell him now. Who's M? I don't remember who that is. Do we know who that is? Do they know who that is? Wait, were they dating when they played the joke on the girl who tried to get naked with him? That's actually a mountain, not a cow. I like Sam. Oh, that's him. Emily, Mike's ex. That's all we got. <laughs> that's the whole relationship thing that's going on. I, uh, I really don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> like... I'm assuming this is important, but it... Okay, she's intelligent, resourceful, persuasive, who cares? Emily's new... What? Why? What? Motivated, ambitious, and active. Okay. Cool. Why don't you just say athletic instead of active? Why? Okay. This is awesome. Can I still speed walk? Kinda. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. Oh, you douche. Oh. Fuck you. Michael, 
So Sam was the last one to show up, I guess? Why do they even come up here in the middle of the night? In the dead of winter. Alright, so this is Matt, Emily's new boyfriend, who Emily is Mike's ex. So I need to show dominance, but at the same time, I don't want to start a fight between these two. Oh, they gotta be friends. Oh, I'm thinking too hard. Okay, if I was in this guy's shoes, I would be a dick. Okay, yeah. Michael, you gotta step off. Yeah, you gotta step you off, bro. Yeah, bro. Do we understand each other? Bro. Bro. Yeah, bud. Bro. Oh, yeah. Did you really just... Did you just... Oh. He called himself mature after jumping out and trying to scare us. What, you're gonna go back to Mike? Why? I don't understand why. Okay, so just putting this in my own mind, she wants to go talk to Sam, who's all the way back at the cable cars, before we get inside. Well, I'm not leaving her alone. She'd be heading back with Mike and toward everyone else, so. She'd be leaving me alone, but I'm almost, okay, I'll just go. Okay, do what you want, I don't care. I was already carrying everything. They better be heading back for Sam and not and not Mike. Because I'd know, but he wouldn't know, and that would really cause a problem. Because I'd be pissed, but he shouldn't be pissed, but I'd be pissed anyway. I don't like her. I kind of like Matt. He seems okay. That's the girl with the weird face. Okay. So she's the girl that Chris... That kind of makes sense. I can picture those two together. He's kind of ugly. She kind of has a weird smile. I can see it. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. And she, Okay, so her and Chris have a crush on each other. Okay, so I gotta get those two to hook up at some point. Gotcha. No, something's gonna jump out at me. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, she went to talk to Mike. Okay. Are those two about to make out? Oh! Oh! Oh, you dick. Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, my pancreas. Matt, I liked you. Why'd you have to do that to me, man? Look for yourself. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm on Matt's uh, side. Alright. Oh. So these guys in high school or something, they look older. They don't look like they're in high school. 
but they're kind of acting like they are. I mean, that guy's wearing a fucking Letterman jacket. I mean... Why is she still sitting down here? You seem like a check-your-phone kind of girl. Also, I'd go for the phone rather than the book. Okay, who did that? Oh, it's Mike. <laughs> uh, run to that freaking bench. Quick dodge. Oh, yeah. Can I pick up a rock and throw it at his face? Oh, hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. Boom. Dodge. Kiss my butt. Oh, it's the bird. Boom. Right in the back of the head. Where'd that bird go? I thought it showed up. Is he just gone? Oh, it's following us around. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Why would I hit that bird? Why? That, okay, so that was in my brain. Oh, this is supposed to be fun. Okay. Wow. I, I, I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now. Grab the snowball. Grab it. Can I grab another yeah. snowball, please? It's so nice out here, though. Pretty much. Yeah. I don't like this. I could stay out here. Like, ever. Thank God they separated. God, this... This is like some really bad TV show. Like... A bunch of super old high schoolers go into the... The, uh... The, the mountain lodge. Oh, there's another dude coming. Who's the last dude to show up? Oh, we're meeting with Dr. Hill again. Confused, still. I mean, I kind of understand some things. I was honest, you dick. I wasn't. You're clearly just stupid. I even explained to everyone here why I did what I did. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay. okay. Seems simple enough. the most men worry me or women worry me. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't think you quite understand me. Um. Oh, jeez. Uh. Neither really worry me. I guess I'm quicker to to distrust men than I am women, so they worry me. No, that, but I'm, it's, there's nothing why is this so hard? Why, sir? Why'd you have to give me this choice? Um, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, men are... No, women. Yeah, women. Okay, yeah. Women are intimidating. Is that how I change the page? Planes scare me, crowds scare me. Both. Can I pick both? I'm afraid of heights, and I don't like people. But I think I could do a plane, as long as I don't look outside. Crowds, I can't really... Nah, I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, switch the page again. Okay, heights. Yep, heights. That wins. Alright. Not that scared of drowning. I can swim. Who doesn't know how to swim? I'm sorry if you don't know how to swim. Rats scare me. Snakes scare me. Neither. I love both. But if I were to be more scared of one than the other, I'd have to go with snakes because they can kill me. Rats, I can punch in the face. A snake is faster than my punch. What are you What are you writing down? I'm simply answering your questions. Guns are scary. Knives are scary. Uh... You know, if someone comes at you with a gun probably a bit more intimidating than someone coming at you with a knife. Because a knife, they got to get up close and personal. I mean, if you don't have a weapon against that, you can probably still fight them off. A gun, they can just stand across the room and shoot you in the face. That's kind of scary. Okay. Back to snakes and roaches. I don't like roaches. They're freaky. They are real freaky. All those legs and hairs and whatnot. Oh, the scarecrow or the clown. <laughs> um, neither really scare me. Honestly. I have to go with one or the other. I mean, back to the Jeepers Creepers movie. Scarecrow. Even though it's not that scary of a movie, still kind of creepy. Gore disgusts me. Crows, crows are scary. <laughs> Gore does disgust me. I can't handle blood. Not really. You're a bit of a dick, aren't you? Cockroaches are spiders. Spiders are creepy. I fear cockroaches. I kind of like spiders. Okay. Gore disgusts me. I fear needles. I'm terrified of needles. I don't like them. I don't want them inside me at any point in time. I don't want anything inside me, really. Zombies scare me. I fear... Again, neither. I guess zombies are more scary though, because they're they're dead. Like that's a dead person that came back to life. Oh, I love dogs. Doggies are adorable. Okay, these are getting a little easier. Storm scary, I guess. Needles, because you know, storms are not scary. Oh no, is this gonna? Alright, if this makes something later in the game happen with those three things, I will not be happy. I'm kind of glad he didn't go with the heights thing, because I would cry. I would legitimately cry. <sighs> Dr. Hill, you're a bit of a dick, aren't you? Previously on Until Dawn. Ooh, a quick sum up of what we've already been on. Okay. Wow, the frame rate is awful. Okay. So I know these two ran to the death.
Wait, what if that wasn't a monster? Because he was wearing goggles. What if he's, like, looking through goggles at them? What if they weren't actually in danger and he was just trying to help them? Or what if he really is a murderer? But why would you just walk through the woods with fire? Yo, it's the Josh dude. Sweet. Complex Josh. Hannah and Beth's brother. Probably messed up in the head. Thoughtful and loving. And he's also going to be in that new movie. Playing the, the queen guy. My brain just stopped working. I, I knew his name. It, it shut off. It's, um... I'm not gonna try to think of it now. Okay, so... Uh gonna stop this episode here probably gonna go get some food probably gonna keep playing because I'm actually kind of interested to see how this goes um yeah so I'll see you guys in the next episode stay tuned to find out if Josh is really as messed up in the head as I'm assuming he is or if that pyromancer guy knows fire magic alright see you guys soon